In this video, I'm going to explain how you can upload a file to the Amazon Simple Story Service, otherwise known as Amazon S3. You'll need an Amazon S3 account to use this, so if you don't have one, come here to aws.amazon.com forward slash S3 and click on the button here that says sign up now and the sign up process is pretty straightforward. Once you've got your account set up you'll be able to sign into the AWS Management Console and once you've input all your login information you'll be directed to a page like this. Make sure that Amazon S3 is selected from this row of tabs at the top. The first thing you need to do is to create a bucket as Amazon call it and this is basically a folder on their server which is going to be where you're going to store your file. So click here on create bucket and give your bucket a name. It needs to be a unique name so if you put something like my bucket you'll probably find that it's already been taken. I'm just going to give it a string of random numbers and letters for this demonstration. Then you want to choose the region and you do so from this pop-up menu. You can have either US Standard, Oregon, Northern California, Ireland, Singapore or Tokyo. And there are various reasons why you might want to choose a particular region. It could be for legal reasons, it could also be because uh, the server is nearer where you are or where your customers are and therefore the download times will be somewhat quicker. I'm in the UK so I'm going to use Ireland as my region and then click here on the button that says create. And there we go, it's created the bucket if I want to create a folder within the bucket, like a sort of a, a subfolder, all I have to do is click here on this button here that says create folder and it's got new folder and let's call this photos and then when that's done click on the green tick mark there and there we go that is now open, I can double click and there we are, I'm now in that folder. Okay, now I'm going to upload something into this folder. So click here on the button that says Upload. And then on this little green cross here that says Add Files. File Upload window will open and this is the photo I'm going to upload which is sam01.jpg. So click on Open and then come over to this button here and click on Start Upload. And there we go, that is now done and you can see the file displayed here in the right hand pane. Okay, I'm just going to close that window. Now if I click on the file itself and then right click you can see there are several things that I can do here I can open it, download it back to my computer make it public, rename it, delete it or I can cut and copy it and I can look at the properties now I want everybody to be able to download this everybody I send to this particular file so I'm going to click here on make public and it's prompting me do I really want to? I'm going to say yes, so click on OK. And there we go. That's now done. And for some reason we seem to have lost the file. I'll just click on the tab again. And there we go. That's getting it back. OK, now if I right click on this file again, you can see the properties, a whole lot of information about the file. Now I need to get the link that people are going to go to when they view the file, the link I'm going to send people to. So double click 
on the link make sure that you've got your pop-up blockers turned off and you can see it opens it in a new tab and all I have to do is select it right click and copy and then I can save that to a notepad file or something and that's the link that I will send people to when I want them to download this file so there you go that's how you can upload a file to Amazon S3.